Hey everybody, welcome to Chef Dad, and this is Moose Meat Sticks. Okay, we're gonna cube up this moose. And it is still pretty frozen, but eh, when you got your wonderful Victorinox knife that I got from Bearded Butchers, uh, it seems to cut pretty well through this frozen meat. All you gotta do is cut it up so it'll go through the grinder cube it up a little bit just so that you can get your seasonings all over a little better incorporation of the seasoning seasonings but the amount of meat that we have here plus the fat and the uh, chuck that I add this is going to give us about 25 pounds of hunter sticks Alright, so the other meat that we're going to add into this is an American Wagyu chuck. And you ask why would you use such an expensive cut of meat in hunter sticks? That's because this was the cheapest cut of meat that was on sale and why not? But Chuck's a great choice because it's got a good fat content if you want to grind it into burger or anything. But it's, it's already 80-20. This Wagyu is probably a little bit on the fatter side. But it's not going to hurt my feelings any. Look at that meat in there. That's some really nice looking Chuck steak. Chuck roast. Could have just cooked this like a ribeye. But instead, we're turning it into jerky, or into hunter sticks. Mm, yeah, do I? I guess I could. All right, so uh, the hunter stick that we're making is a pepper stick. Um, some people might consider it more of a pepperoni stick, but another video, we will go ahead and make pepperoni sticks because uh, we want to. All right, and the last thing we're going to add into this is a little bit of pork back fat. Or closest thing I could get to pork back fat up here. And you just want to make sure you cube it into the right size of two if it hasn't already come from your butcher that way. Or if you don't have your own pigs and you didn't cut up your own. All right, then just give yourself a good mix. Let that moose fat chuck all get mixed together. That way when we grind it, we get an even dispersion of all the meat. We're also going to add in our seasonings after we put this in the freezer for a little bit and let it set up so that the grinder grinding portion goes a lot smoother. going to be making meat sticks and uh, we're going to start with the coarse grind and then we'll we're actually going to split this up into two different flavors but for now uh, we're just going to get it through this coarse grind get it split up get the seasonings on then run it through one more time on a fine grind so always make sure you load up your hopper and you start with meat down in the chamber Get 
Okay, and once you do that, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. grinder is fast just about as fast as you can load it it'll pull it through the only time you ever need to use the plunger is if you put too big of a piece in it okay all right so there was our first grind uh, we're going to go ahead and swap out that coarse, the coarse disc for our fine grind. And if you wanted to, you could throw this right back in the freezer, but it is super cold. Okay, so we're gonna get this other blade out of here. We gotta split this up. So we're gonna wanna scale it out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and split this up. Uh, 10 pounds of this is going to turn into pepperoni, which is gonna be uh, pepperoni sticks, which is gonna be in a future episode. Uh, the rest we're gonna turn into hunter sticks or pepper sticks. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're going to season these hunter snacks, hunter sticks, pepper sticks, whatever you want to call them. Um, so we've got our pre, our seasonings that we put together here. Uh, quantities and seasonings will be in the description, and hopefully we can get them up on the screen for you. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and sift this across all of them. Before we do this next grind, that way it's well incorporated. Being as these are going to be smoked at a low temperature, we have to use, you, know, you don't have to use, you should use pink curing salt, number one. Uh, and that's going to prevent bacteria, especially botulism. And uh, it's going to be one teaspoon per five pounds. And I've got 15 pounds right here. So, and you can see I go a little bit heavy. It's not going to change the flavor as long as you don't go too crazy with it. You're not going to get sick from it as long as you don't go too crazy, but you want that in there to make sure that it's safe to eat. Okay, we're going to mix that up and then we're going to start it going through the grinder. We will mix it again after it goes through this last grind just to make sure we got seasoning throughout and that cure salt throughout. So again, you never want to start this without stuff in it. And we're going to stage some up here so we never go dry. On the second grind, we're going to use this a little bit because it's not quite as cold as we wanted it. By this, I mean the plunger. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn it off. We're just going to give it one more good mix. Then the next step is going to be casing. 
putting them in the sausage stuffer and getting them into some, we're going to use cellulose casings, edible cellulose casings. Smells really good. All right, this is still super cold. All right. Now this one's ready for the next step. So you're going to make yourself a nice ball. And throw it right into it. And you're doing that so you don't get a bunch of trapped air down on the bottom of it. Take another one. We have about 15 pounds of meat, so hopefully. Oh man, I made a mess with that one. It'll all fit in this one press. And we won't have to refill it. I don't know if we're going to make it. Maybe. gonna have to take a little, little bit of it out which we'll just add back in at the end okay okay we're gonna use these clear collagen casings edible Fill the two or yeah for the meat sticks I guess to start calling them meat sticks huh stuff I added water to. Stick. Oop, back off just a little more. There you go. All right, so I took the meat sticks out of the fridge. Um, this is what they look like after sitting for about 20 hours. And they've dried out a little bit. Uh, already got some of them out on the smoker, so we'll see how they turn out. All right, so we're gonna get smoking on these meat sticks. I've got the pit boss going as cold as it can go. Uh, it's set at 140 degrees. Uh, you can tell it's pretty cold out here and the moisture content in the air is super low. So we will be adding water to the tray after we bump up the heat a little bit. But for now, we're just gonna get this meat hung.
Smoky. All right, so we're going to let that go for an hour, and then we'll bump up the temp a little bit and increase, add a little bit of water to the container. All right, these meat sticks have been going for a little over 45 minutes to an hour. Um, been rocking right at 140 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and bump the temp up to 160, which I can just do from my phone. So we're calling for 160 now. Let's take a quick look at these sticks. The casings have dried out where we want them. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm really going to bring in the water yet. But we'll take a look at these sticks. And you can see they've dried out pretty good. So we're just going to keep it rocking. Okay, now that these have been smoking for a little while, <clears throat> I'm going to bump up the temperature a little bit more, take it up to... 180 to 200 degrees and I'm also going to put in my Chef IQ meat probe. Uh, it's the first time I've got to use them so I'll let you know what I think. We are about three hours into our meat sticks and they've been smoking away. We've got it up to 210 degrees now. Give you a quick look at what they look like. Oh yeah, they are starting to look like meat sticks. We've got our Chef IQ thermometer in there. We're going to get this closed back up and let them keep on going. If we look at our Chef IQ app, we've got an internal temperature of 139 degrees. Um, it's projecting that in about 37 minutes we'll be done our meat sticks finally got up to temp, uh, 165 internal. So we're going to take them out and put it in this ice bath here. That water's been sitting out at 26 degrees here for several hours. So now we're going to get our first look at the done sticks. Oh man, they almost look professional. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these pulled off of here and we're gonna get them right into that ice bath over there to stop the in, that cooking. So stop the cooking and it's gonna shock those casings. Okay, we're just gonna leave them in there for a minute and we're gonna get some more on the smoker. Okay. So we got them out of the smoker into the ice bath. Now we're just gonna take them and dry them off, cut them to length, package them and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we're going to end up cutting these to our desired length. Luckily, if you look right here on this board, it is about the perfect length. You may end up with some that are shorter at the end, but it ain't going to matter too much. The hiking bits. Chef Dad, you know it. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with family. <laughs> Lose a finger. All right, so one smoker load is all cut up, ready to go. We can package them. Then move on to the next batch.
what the internal looks like. Uh, it turned out perfect. The casing is nice and good. has that quality crinkle to it. I'll call it a crinkle. But I guess we're going to have somebody come in and give it a taste test. Hang on, because the camera's got to come down to you. You think it's really good? What's your favorite part about it? How squishy it is. <laughs> I'm going to firm up pretty quick, but it's still really moist. It's still really moist. Fat didn't render out. It just turned out perfect. All right, one more taste test. Nice snap on the casing. Mm -hmm. That's really good. All right, so this is what we ended up with for the meat sticks. Uh, we're just going to end up putting them in packages, getting them froze. Uh, so we'll see you after we do that. So that's plenty. We'll probably do two at a time then. All right, so we ended up with 16 packs of moose meat sticks. Uh, we just sealed them in the chamber vac from Meet Your Maker. Um, they're fabulous. These actually absolutely taste amazing. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a like and subscribe, and we'll keep bringing you more content. Boy, that was hard.